Welcome to our Ayurveda talk. We have a talk tonight that is relating to the upcoming full moon. So we have a full moon coming in this week. I think it's Thursday, Thursday night. Um, and we have a practice in Ayurveda that actually is supportive for cooling down the body. So in the summertime, you really want to be managing heat that's building in the tissues. And this is why in the fall cleanse, our main objective in fall cleanse, other than turning the disease pathway around and removing toxins, is to actually remove excess heat that's been accumulating over the summer in the hot months. So if you live in a climate that's hot, or if it's that season, pitta season, which it's ruled by the fire element, then we want to like start managing our diet and our lifestyle so that we can cool down our tissues. I always want to remind everybody that everything is based on the elements. We are part of the earth. We are part of it. We breathe air. We have fluids. We have temperature in our body. We have physical structure that comes from the food we eat, which comes from the earth. So we are literally part of the earth. That's why seasons impact us. That's why different times of the day impact us. And I want to just mention that in Ayurveda, everything boils down to that. And if you're not connected to seasonal changes and things like that that are happening, it's because you are out of balance. This way that we are living in the modern world is not healthy. It's really affecting people. It's, it's affecting people's mental health, their physical health. You got to get back into nature. You got to reconnect. And the way that we do that is by bringing ourselves back into balance with simple practices. So as we move towards the full moon, you can take advantage of the energy of the moon, which is cool. And the evening, so nighttime, you could do this practice any, any night, but it's especially potent when it's a full moon. So what you want to do is you're going to go and get yourself a glass canister. We do not use plastic in Ayurveda. Get plastic out of your life. No more plastic. The plastics are seeping into our food and our water, and it's affecting our hormones. It's affecting everything. It's causing toxins. Okay, so you get a glass container. They're not expensive. I got this one at Big Lots for like 10 bucks, you guys. So you, it has a metal top. You fill it with filtered water. You want good water. Not water that came from a water bottle, okay? <laughs> but filtered water. So if you have reverse osmosis or you have a way of filtering system in your home, awesome. Use that. You can also put mint like from your garden into it. And then what you're going to do is when the sun goes down, and this is key, you are trying to take advantage of the energy of night, which is cooler. And that is going to be infused into the water. So you fill up the water, you add your mint, and then when it's nighttime, you go out into the yard and you do a little hole and you just place this in the hole. You don't bury it. You just set it in there and make sure that the moon is able to shine on it. And no joke, I have people who do this and they are blown away because they go, it tasted different. And so you're going to do this. If you're feeling really overheated, you fill it with water. You add mint if you want. You don't have to. You, as soon as it's dark, you put it outside. Put it in the earth. In the earth. And then in the morning, you go out and you get it. You do not want the sun shining on it, okay? You want to go out and get it, okay? It's not sun tea. It's moon tea. So you want moon tea. Actually, moon water. So you, you're going to have moon water. And it's very nourishing. It's very cooling. One of the suggestions that we give to Pitta individuals who have a lot of heat 
is take a walk at night when it's cool or in the early morning when it's cool. Take advantage of the cool times of the day. We encourage that they take walks near water because it's cooler by water. We encourage them to take walks where there's flowers, right? Because Pitta individuals, they get overheated and they get heated in their thinking and their emotions. We want to calm them down. Flowers do that. Colors do that. The fragrances do that. And then you can further support yourself with having water that's been infused by the energy of the moon. And that is a wonderful Ayurvedic practice that you can do as another way to support cooling down your tissues. And I would love to hear how it's impacting you guys. So if you do this, I want you to reach out to me and tell, tell me, oh my gosh, I noticed a difference. And if you didn't notice a difference, really that's telling me that you're just out of balance. You're just out of balance because as soon as you start bringing yourself back into balance, connected to the earth, connected to the nature, you're going to feel it. You will. Okay, so that is our talk for tonight. Get yourself some moon water. And the full moon is the end of this week. So take advantage of the energy of the moon. But you can do this on any night. Even if the moon is not shining, you can go out there and still infuse that coolness of the night into the water. And you, you place it in the earth. So it gets the energy of the earth. There, the earth, by the way, vibrates at its own frequency. It has its own energy. And we are Im impacted by that. It has its own electromagnetic force. That's why when you put your feet on the ground, in the grass, it can also be another way of cooling down the body. You literally put your feet in the dirt. Why do you think animals dig holes? My dogs are doing lots of holes in the yard right now because I have my, my dog with her puppies. And so it's warm. So they're digging holes so that they can get down to the earth where it's cooler. And that's where you're gonna place the water. I don't even have to dig a hole. I just go out there and find one of the dog holes and just place it right there in the dog hole that's been dug up because there's one in every corner of my yard. Every corner. <laughs> anyway, lots of fun there, pure joy, but you know, it's five puppies, that's a lot. Okay, so let's get started with our class tonight, which is, we have a little bit of weird weather going on right now, but we are still doing a summertime practice. So it still will be a pitta reducing practice, little more calming. So it's going to help support Vata because we've had some wacky weather going on in the last couple of days. So let's get started with that. <laughs> 